Hello and welcome to Maths by Saz. This is my 14th lesson of D3, chapter number 1, exercise 1b. That is about solution of quadratic equation by using quadratic formula. In this lesson, we'll be discussing question number 4, intermediate level. Let's read the question and question says solve each of the following equations if possible. Now, here students, the situation is that we have to solve the quadratic equation by using quadratic formula and we know that the quadratic formula is x equals to minus b plus minus b square, uh, b square minus 4ac upon 2a. I am repeatedly asking a quadratic formula to my students and writing it during my lessons so that students can get perfection about this formula because this is one of the most important formulas for the solution of quadratic equation. So let's move to the question and read the question. Question is 3x minus 4 equals to 4x minus 3 whole square. Here the equation which is given to us is not in form of the standard quadratic equation. So first of all we have to turn the given equation in form of the standard quadratic equation and here we have to apply the identity perfect square identity with differences and equation will take the form 3x minus 4 equals to uh, this can take the form a minus b whole square and according to that it will become a square minus 2 into 4 into 3 and plus 3 square uh, this is 3x minus 4 equals to square of 4 is 16 x square minus 4 3 is 24 4 3 is 12 2 is 24 x plus 9 okay now uh, we uh, have uh, written it in the simplified form and now in order to uh, give this equation in form of the standard quadratic equation we have to shift these two terms on the other side and one of the side must be equal to 0. So the equation will take the form 16x square minus 24x minus 3x plus 9. And when this 4 is shifted to other side, minus 4 is shifted to other side, it will become positive 4 and we will have 0 over there. And then this equation will take the form 16x square minus 27x plus 13 equals to 0. Now my equation is written in standard quadratic equation form. Uh, let me recheck my working. I always advise it to my students to double check the working before moving to the next step. So according to a minus b whole square, this will be a square minus 2 into a into b plus b square 16x square 4 3 is a 12 2 is a 24x plus 9 and 16x square minus 24x when 3x is shifted to this side minus 3x plus 9 plus 4 so equation will become 16x square <coughs> minus 27x plus 13 equals to 0 now my equation is in form of the standard quadratic equation and I have to compare mm -hmm. the equation with the standard quadratic equation which is ax square plus c equals to 0, 16x square minus 27x plus 13 equals to 0 and this will take the form uh, by comparison a is equal to 16, a equals to 16, b equals to minus 27 and c equals to 13. And now uh, what we have to do, we have to put these values in the quadratic formula and x equals to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac, 4ac upon 2aa and this will take the form x equals to minus 27 minus minus 27 plus minus b squared is minus 27 square minus 4 into 16 is a 13 divided by 2 times 16 
2 times 16 and this will take the form 16 x equals to minus multiplied by minus will become plus 27 plus minus 27 square is 729 but let me recheck it 27 multiplied by 27 729 <clears throat> and then uh, 4ac uh, 16 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 13 9 plus 4 is 13 so this is minus 832 minus 832 upon 16 times 2 is 32 again okay now let me move uh, towards the top of the page and equation will take the form x equals to 27 plus minus and this is uh, minus 729 uh, 103 but look and focus on this point clearly that here 832 is greater than 729 and that has the negative sign so we will have minus 103 students under the radical sign divided by 32 now look carefully here when i will be taking the square root of negative 103 103 that will be giving me mass error yes mass error so for such situations where your square root symbol is containing negative sign this is important point that we have to focus on okay here as the square root symbol is containing negative sign so we cannot solve it further so we simply have to write solution not possible solution not possible not possible and the reason is because b square this part is b square minus 4 ac is less than zero okay so no real solution or complex solution complex roots i hope you are clear uh, about how to get a real solution and how to get to different roots or how to get the single root and how to get no solution no solution will be obtained when b square minus 4 ac which is called the discriminant discriminant is less than zero then your answer will be having no real solution i hope you are really clear about this question for next difficulty level please catch me in the next class watch my lessons like share and subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get the notification of every lesson in time thank you very much